Champaign, Illinois. I've got on my Illinois shirt, so I'm ready to go. We've come down to campus and we're gonna walk around, uh, see the sights, probably eat a lot of food here because we've heard some good things about Chinese food, barbecue, pizza, maybe even some Mexican, Indian. There's a lot of stuff in this town. So I think the day today is gonna be nice. It's supposed to rain the rest of the week. Uh, we'll see how it turns out, but follow us as we go through Champaign. We're in Champaign-Urbana. I'm with my really good friend from college, Kenny. Kenny Hi. works out here, and tonight we are gonna celebrate our reunion by hitting up Sitar Restaurant. Just got our appetizers. We ordered the vegetable platter and the paneer pakora, spicy eggplant, lamb korma, mild, at the recommendation of the restaurant. And we got chicken sog, regular, no spice. We have two orders of naan and rice. We can't wait to dig in. Dinner was amazing. I'm going to be craving this place. Kenny brought us to a local Korean market and I am in heaven. They have all the staples that I love having in the fridge to make Asian food. Like red pepper paste for Sundubu or all the soy sauces. They even have gluten-free organic soy sauce. I'm so excited. I might run out of here with like a $200 grocery bill, but it'll be totally worth it. We can have a We seriously could be in trouble with Kate being in this store. We're picking up some crispy chili oil for Joe. He is so addicted to this stuff, he puts a spoonful in everything. Now the one thing I could never get into, preserved eggs. <laughs> They can only split the bill among five credit cards. There's a lot so of people. you can each put two in, and I'll put one in. <laughs> We're at Golden Harbor. I've been dying to try this place. Plus, I've been dying for some really good Chinese food. Uh, we're here with Kenny again. But this is the first time where I've shown up to a restaurant and you have to grab your own ordering pad pen, and menu and order yourself, write your order down, and then bring it up to the cash register. So it should be an interesting experience. However, over here is a giant wall of menu. I mean, there must be there has to be over a thousand items on this menu. No, it goes up to 1,037. Look! It goes up to 1,127 items on this menu. I'm pretty sure we're not going to be able to try it all today. We'll try our best to make our way through the menu. I ordered a couple of things. The dish I'm most looking forward to is churro bai tai jiao. It's pork and cabbage dumplings. So we got one of the house specialties, it's the fried tofu, and I know there are a lot of people out there that think tofu doesn't taste like anything, but when you fry it, and you put a really good sauce on it, it's absolutely delicious. Mm. The whole outside is crispy and it's almost liquefied in the middle, with kind of a, like a sweet soy sauce on top of it. Excellent. Kenny was raving about their pork belly buns, so we got them, and they're absolutely delicious. So they arrived in three parts. You have the little buns, all the fixings, and the braised pork belly. You add the pork belly to the bun, add the trimming, cilantro, pickled mustard, and ground up peanuts. And that's it. That's delicious. The bun is nice and soft, but it's got enough texture to hold everything together. And the pork belly is really tender. And the sweetness of the peanuts really add that sweet and savory balance. We just finished lunch at Golden Harbor. Two favorite dishes of the day, the classic tofu, nice and crispy on the outside, a sweet sauce, and the pork buns. Those were phenomenal. Joe is not a fan of boba, but Kenny and I are indulging in some boba. It's uh, milk tea. 
tea. Well, Kenny got milk tea and I got Egyptian chamomile with boba, which are little tapioca balls and they're really fun to chew on as a dessert. So I got the burnt end platter, that is the fatty brisket. I love fatty brisket and this stuff is awesome. We've had Chinese, we've had barbecue, we even had Indian food. Now we are at Papa Dell's. Apparently it is an institution here in Champaign. Their specialty is deep dish pizza. And we're at their new location, which used to be a Coca-Cola bottling plant. They have Pizza by the Slice happy hour from 3 to 4 p.m. every day and you can get slices uh, for half off. So we're gonna go in and check it out and see what their piece is all about. All right, you know, after seeing these, the mushroom pizza looks pretty amazing, so I'm not angry anymore that they sold out. But I am gonna have some of this bacon pepperoni pizza. Mm. That's good pizza. These are leftovers from their lunch. And obviously it doesn't taste like it just came out of the oven, but it's heated, it's fantastic, I love it. time in Kentucky I had to get myself a bourbon this is a four roses small batch the view up here is mostly of different buildings in town but it's really nice the Sun is out Leo is really comfortable and there's a nice little crowd patio type thing going on walk downstairs get another drink and just enjoy it out here so I would say if you're in the area and the weather is nice definitely come up here for a bourbon dinner at Borachas Moro Leon. I like Kenny saying the name because I am Spanish challenged uh, but it is a local Mexican restaurant in Urbana Illinois the food was delicious I had the huracha which is handmade tortilla it was stuffed with al pastor cilantro onion it was so good and heartwarming what did you have and I had enchilada suizas with also al pastor and Joe had a chimichanga with asada that was also amazing. If you're in Champaign, make the short drive over to Urbana, Illinois. It's only a couple of miles and check out this local Mexican restaurant. All the locals come here, right? Mm -hmm. And it is so good, it did not disappoint. We had an incredible time in Champaign, Illinois. It is beautiful here. It's a small college town. Uh, but there's actually a pretty significant divide between the college area on Green Street and the rest of uh, downtown Champaign, which is along Neal Street. We've had so much fun. I couldn't believe all the good food we had here. I'm really happy we decided to stop here. Thank you, Kenny, for showing us around town. Uh, we really enjoyed ourselves. And we stayed at D&W Campground, just a little bit north of town. Um, it is beautiful. If you get a chance and you're on your way to Bloomington or up to Chicago, 
Um, definitely stop in at Champaign, Illinois and check it out. And the best part, and I know Joe's favorite part of Champaign is the Columbia Street Roastery, where we got to learn all about coffee, did our first cupping. Um, we would definitely come back here and maybe stay for a month night.